Umetokoa na kutuisha Umetuganga na kutulisha Wati miliza mambo yetu Bwana Watu sambe Watu oko watu Na tuise tu Wadili sako Bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Ni maku Fadili zako bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Ni maku Ni na yako tu Ni kusuri lako Ibidiri nyoni sababu yako Na Yesu asifiwe. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time. God. Especially now, eh? Welcome to our first service and we praise God for the gift of life. We are going to request all the other to sit down. The others to sit down. Woman guild stand remaining. Elder Esther will lead us with our guild song. We gai morio nara Hamotheru moigui Thania tohe oigu Ano moro muka Tue da ne gorosi Toi tue ke imwe La di magwa tane Lue no i tue tue ke Ya go kugosi dia Adwa i to mako menye we gai wa mawe mua Ya mohe ya ni mua ya Tohe ya gehi nya Tohi kye mehe toa Ere ya tohe he tine Nare toa lia gai wito Atene tole huja Gya guma ya kugai Tota gari ewe othe Ligo ito tuare Kya wera to Kemo Siye osyo wa igo Oloto You can stand now for the call to worship. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Praise and worship. We're going to have a session of praise. Huku na huku kama mawimbi Upendo wa Yesu wanizunguka Huku na huku kama mawimbi Upendo wa Yesu wanizunguka Oh, huku na huku kama mawimbi Upendo wa Yesu wanizunguka Oh, huku na huku kama mawimbi Upendo wa Yesu wanizunguka Hata nikiwa kazi Kama mawe Upendo wa Yesu wanizunguka Hata nikiwa shule Kama mawe Upendo wa Yesu 
Jesus. Worship you, Lord. We give you the praise. There is none like you, Lord. We are, we are so happy to be in your presence, Lord. We give you the glory. What a joy it is, Lord, to be at your presence, Lord. To worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ai baba na fasi nyingine ya siku mpya baba na shukuru mimi ponya roho na mwili tabibu wa ajabu wewe Yesu baba Badilisha kuwa baraka Baba na shukuru Kilio changu ewe Yesu Kabadilisha kuwa furaha Baba na shukuru Nasema asante kwa kosa kwa kosia na shukuru moyo wa baba wangu wote nasema asante kwa kosia na shukuru Tunashukuru kwa yale yote umetenda Jehova. Tunakushukuru tunakupa sifa. Kwa moyo wetu tunakupa sifa. E, kwa moyo kwa moyo wangu wote nasema nasema asante kwa kosa kwa kosi Umetenda ni mengi mno na ya ajabu sijui mimi ni semeje yale yawe umenitendea ni mengi mno na ya ajabu sijui mimi ni semeje Sijui mimi ni semeje e kwa moyo wangu wote nasema asante kwako masia na shukuru Oh, 
Sisi ni mashahidi na tena watumishi wa Mungu tupate kujua na kuamini yeye pekee ndiye Mungu kabla yake hakuna mwingine na hakutakuwepo mwingine A better clap for guild Thank you. Let's have announcements by Elder Nancy. Tunafanya kazi nao na kila mmoja wao atajitaja pale yako. Tukianzia na Bwana asifiwe. Jina ni Rebecca Wajiru wa Gashuru nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana Vice Secretary. Praise God. I'm Jane Wageshi wa Bogo. I am saved. And I'm the secretary. Wana Sifiwe, I'm Lydia Kehuria, I'm saved, I'm the treasurer. Praise God, Church. I'm Mr. Agujiri, Christo Nibwana, Mimi the patron. Tuko Atano, Moja Wetu Ayuko, Vice Chair Lady, Anaitua Ridia Kehuria, Amebarikiwa na Mtoto, Ndiyomana Tuko Nae Hapa. Rusi Kimani, sorry. Rusi Kimani. <laughs> Amebarikiwa. <laughs> Nami ni Chair Lady Paris Mokuhe Kagiri. Mbarikiwe. Lydia's blessings are on the way, eh? <laughs> um, brief report on the, the role of Women's Guild, the... World Day of Prayer and the Fellowship of the List Coin. And I'll ask Waitito, as I read, to project some of the activities that we were having over the week. I will start with the, the role of guild in the church. Uh, the Women's Guild is a fellowship of women and girls in the Presbyterian Church of East Africa whose main aim is to bring together women and girls in dedication of their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ for his kingdom through worship, fellowship, and service. It is founded on the Bible teaching in, the, in Romans chapter 12, that is from verse 11 to 13. The roles of the Women's Guild in the church include preaching the word of God and winning souls for Christ, visiting the sick, the orphans, and the elderly, sharing the food, and clothing with the less fortunate, following up the weak and strengthening them, seeking and fighting the lost and helping them get back to Christ, holding fellowship where we encourage one another with his testimonies, and this helps in building our faith, organizing seminars for girls and women, and providing hospitality in the church as well as beautification in the church. As we observe the Guild Sunday today, our main project to buy a bus is still on. As you are all aware, this project was started two years ago, but due to the continued COVID-19 pandemic, we have not been able to complete it. We therefore humbly request you to kindly support us financially so that we can complete this project. In addition, we have planned seminars for class eight girls before they join Form 1, and later for all the ladies. This training will help them build and develop capacity, as well as equipping them with skills which will enable them to transform the society. And now the, I'm going to read about the World Day of Prayer. World Day of Prayer is celebrated annually on the first Friday in March. During the World Day of Prayer, People all around the world unite to affirm their faith and belief 
sorry, they, they unite to affirm their belief and faith in Christ. Also to en be enriched by experiences of other Christians, their countries and cultures. To pray with others for the burdens of each other. To become more aware of their talents and encar be encouraged to use them in Christ's service. To, de to develop awareness of the world as a whole, understand and appreciate that God loves all people everywhere. Recognizing that prayer and action go hard in hard is what World Day, day of Prayer is all about. During this, this World Day of Prayers, the program materials were designed by women of Vanuatu, that is a small group of islands in the South Pacific. God chose this country so that the voice of Vanuatu women, their joys, their hopes, and their struggles would be heard across the world in the year 2021. It was observed on Friday, 5th March, guided by the theme, built on a strong foundation. This is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27, where Jesus tells a story about the kingdom of heaven using the image of a house and the land on which the house is built. Members of woman, Woman's Guild and other women in this church gathered for prayers and it was quite successful. Lastly, the, the Fellowship of the List Coin. The Fellowship of the List Coin is a global ecumenical prayer movement that was begun in 1956 by Shanti Solomon of India. She believed that women anywhere could have a sense of being, sorry, she believed that women in anywhere could have a sense of being part of a world, worldwide family of faith. Her vision, now a reality, is that this connectedness would arise from women praying for peace and reconciliation and setting aside the least coin of their country as a symbol of that prayer. As coins are gathered from all over the world, they become a sign of our oneness in a common quest for peace, justice, and reconciliation. In America, there was a lady called Margaret Shannon and was a Presbyterian. She managed to gather women from many countries and her church paid for them a trip for fellowship in one of the eastern countries, that is Philippines. They chose to go to Korea and while they were there, the lady Shant Solomon was not allowed to go to Korea because she was an Asian and Koreans and Asians had no diplomatic relations. While she was in Philippines alone, she miserably knew that they were going to look for a solution through prayers, how God would restore peace and love, and love to them. While she was praying, God revealed to her the lady who gave one cent. That is found in Mark chapter 12, verse 12, 42. And from there, she heard that women from races, when women from all races meet from, for their countries for remembrance that they met for prayers, Sorry, let me repeat there. While she, was repeat, while she was praying, God revealed to her the lady who gave one cent. That is in Mark chapter 12, verse 42. And from there, she heard that when women of all races meet for prayers of peace in their countries, they can contribute the least coin for their countries for remembrance that they made for prayers. From there, the fellowship of the least coin started. The history of the least coin was given by the late Priscilla Mereka, in Philippines in 1957 to the ladies of Woman's Guild when she was a guild organizer. Today, each lady of the Woman's Guild sets aside the list coin and prays that the country, that she prays that that country would have peace and fellowship. She then puts the list coin in the place of, in the place set aside as a symbol of the prayer seed. The list coin is then collected and given to the minister for prayers as organized by the Women's Guild Committee. This is further forwarded to the head office and sent to the needy. Uh, we will now call our treasurer so that she can hand over the, the list coin to our minister so that he can pray for it. Thank you for listening.
this is the contribution of the, all the, women's, the, the women in the Women's Guild uh, for the least coin. And it should be known that the least coin is the remainder or the change that they get when they go out for shop, shopping and doing some other things. The money that is left each and every time they put it together and by the end of the year, from June last year to June this year, that money is brought together uh, that it may be directed to the needy. We have heard that this money goes to the head office, a uh, department of the Women's Guild. They will sit and through the legions and presbyteries identify very, very needy cases in the church and they will support either through school fees or even feeding or supporting in other ways. It is our prayer that it will be put into good use for our women. Our mothers have done great work for the whole year to bring together the money that we are praying for today. I would like you, all of us to stand to Simame Tafadari that we may pray for the least coin in the Women's Guild and the Lord will bless you. Right, na tuombe. Tuwa kushukuru mwenyezi mungu baba wetu kwa wema na fadhiri zako. Wewe ndiye unaelekeza watu wako katika jia ya huduma kulingana na mapenzi yako ewe bwana. Kwa kushukuru kwa kuwa umepeana wazo kwa kanisa lako hasa kwenye kikudi shawa mama, the woman's guild wakaweze kubakisha wakati wanaenda kununua vitu za mahitaji yao wakumbuke ya kwamba kuna wengine ambao hawana na ili wanapofanya vile kile wanabakisha wanakileta pamoja na ili kikaelekezwe kwa watu aina ile baba wa binguni tutakaza vifaa hizi na vipawa hizi Baba wa binguni na tuwaomba ukaweze kusipokea kama sadaka takatifu machoni pako. Na hili mfalme mwema ikaelekezwe kwa huduma yako, huduma ya upendo kwa watu wako kupitia kikudi hiki cha Women's Guild. Tuapokea bwana na tunaomba, tunapo ituma hand office, ikaweze kuelekezwa ipasavyo, ikaweze kuafikia wafaao, ikaweze baba wa binguni kuonyesha upendo upendo wako kwa watu wengi ambao wanahitaji falme mwema wewe unaelekeza nyayo za watu wako toaomba ukawatie wamama wa kanisa hili la PCA shieko nguvu na ili wasije wakashoka katika huduma kama hii na, waji, na wawe kila wakati wanakumbuka wakati wamepata wakati wako nazo za kushibisha nafsi zao na maisha yao na familia zao wakumbuke kuna wengine hawana na diposa tuwaachilia mikononi mwako kuanzia sasa na kuendelea na ili baba wa binguni waendelee kufanya hivyo na ukazidi kuwabariki na shao sha kutosha na vile vile za kuwasaidia wengine na hata kuweka kwa ajili ya the rest coin na ili tutaka pokusanyika hapa Mwaka ujao wakati kama huu tutalisifu na kulitukuza jina lako tukipokea vipawa hizi na tukizisalimisha kwako ewe Bwana. Taomba ukaweze kuwabariki, ukazidi kuatia nguvu ya huduma yako na ukazidi baba wa binguni kushu, ku, kuhudumia hata mahitaji ya maisha yao. Ukiendelea kubariki kanisa hili na watu wako wote katika kanisa lako takatifu. Tuombea sadaka hii na kuitakaza katika jina lake baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. Tuketi tafadhali. Ninaalifiwa pia ya kwamba Women's Guild wametengeneza vitaba za kutumia kwa ajili ya meza ya Bwana na vile vile kwa ibada ya kawaida. Nitamuomba Chair Ridi alete hizo vitaba wakiwa na patron na ili tuzipokee E, na mwenyekiti wa kanisa e, tukizipokea tutaweza kuziombea 
e, tuwazipokea kwa niamba yenu nyote ambao mmeketi hapa siku ya leo and we know the Lord will continue to bless you. Our church has several colors. Uh, the main colors that we use for the services are the white and the lead. And we also have some other colors that we use for the Holy Communion. Purple, white, and again lead. And we also use purple and, and, and brew for some other services. And therefore we receive vitambaa hizi kwa niamba ya kanisa naomba chairman aje hapa na ili azipokee eh zipokee zote bwana wabariki naomba mzishikilie mkiwa na patron kanisa tusimame na ili tuombe vitambaa hizi tuzitenge kwa matumizi mengine yote kwa utukufu wa bwana let us pray toa kushukuru mwenyezi Mungu kwa vile Umezidi kubaliki kanisa lako na vifaa tofauti na mawazo tofauti na ili huduma ya kanisa hili ikazidi kuashiria uwepo wako kwa wengine wote ambao wanakuja katika ibada hii kikudi hiki cha Women's Guild kimefikiria vyema na ili wakazidi kutengeneza madhabahu yako hasa meza tunayotumia kwa sadaka takatifu ya ukumbusho wake Kristo Yesu mesa takatifu baba wa mbinguni tuomba vitambaa hizi zinapotumika katika ibada sikaweze kutengwa na vitambaa zingine zozote zatumika manyumbani na kwingineko na ili hizi zikatumike kwa kanisa lako tunapopokea bwana uwepo wako watufikia kila mmoja Tunapoendelea katika ibada ya kawaida bwana huduma yako inawafikia watu wako kwa wale wote ambao watatumia vitabaa hizi hapa mbele na zikitazamwa na watu watu wanaona utukufu wako twazitenganisha bwana na aina zingine zozote na ili ziwe za kuonyesha na kuashiria utukufu wako wewe bwana na twafanya hivi katika jina lake baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu Amen. Amen. Patia eh, patron wao ndio watakuwa wakisitandaza na Bwana azidi kutubariki. Amen. Our readings uh, the two readers wataenda pamoja yani one after the other. Catherine Kidinji and Gladys Moreithi. Tutatuambie pale tutasoma. Bwana asifiwe. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah 43. We start from 8 to 13. Our second reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6 to 11. Acts, chapter 1, verse 6 to 11. Just for reading clearly. Why uh, lead us in uh, to God be the glory to welcome our preacher. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful to you this morning that you have given us another moment that we may gather together at your feet, that we may learn from you. For the Lord, we thank you for the theme and the word that you have given us through the woman's guilt. Mighty Father, it is our prayer that it may become of an insight in our hearts to caution us and to direct us and to mold us and to build us, to transform us, O oh Lord, that we may transform the world. Bless us, O oh God, and minister to us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us take our seat. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nisalimie tu kwa hewa bwana asifiwe. It is a great day the Lord has given that we may celebrate him and serve him uh, together with our ladies in the women's guild and the ladies in the church. I like it that when they get into the fellowship, they do not consider the fellowship for the women's guild. It is the fellowship for all the ladies in the church and therefore if you are there, you are a woman. Kaidre, even in the fellowships of the women's guild, the one that comes on uh, the last Sunday of the month, I believe, and also the others that usually come on Thursdays. Uh, Kaidre, if you may have time, please be joining them. You will be blessed in those fellowships. This is the forum where women can minister to one another, where the needs of ladies can be addressed, uh, where you can lay your concerns, and therefore, even if you have so many concerns towards the woman's guilt, this is, where, this is where you can lace them for you to be made to understand how they operate, how they move, how they go, and even how they do things. And we believe the Lord will continue to bless us. This morning I'm saved. Christ is the Lord of my life. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to celebrate the Lord this morning. He has done so, so much for me uh, that I cannot tell all. I thank God for who he is. I thank God for the theme that we are given by the Women's Guild Department in the Presbyterian Church that is coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 10, which says, But you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord. You are my servant. You have been chosen to know me. Believe in me and understand that I alone am God. The Lord is speaking to you. The Lord is speaking to the ladies in the woman's guild. The Lord is speaking to me as a servant of God. And he is reminding us that we are his witnesses. In my local language, a witness is the somebody who gives the truth or the true information about someone. They give information that they know. They tell the truth. And whenever we get to the courts, kwa maana huko tunaona watu wengi wa kienda kutoa ushuhuda na tunawaita kwa ruga ya kikuyu, kwa wale ni wakikuyu, aira, aira. Na wanaenda kutoa uira Na ile kiapo wanakula even before they give their testimony, they give the information they know about the case, they swear that they will tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nitasema ukweli. Na hakuna jabo lingine isipokuwa ukweli. Whatever that I will confess, whatever that I will say, Whatever information I will give will be truthful. A witness is someone who declares the truth of another person and to another person. Na sisi hivyo basi, tukitazama katika Bibiria tunaona in the book of Isaiah and in the book of Acts, we find that Jesus and God, and this confirms to me that Jesus and God is, the, is one and the same. And that is why as Christians we talk about Trinity. Because in the Old Testament it is believed. We see God only in God the Father, the Lord God, the Yahweh, Jehovah. But when Christ came, he revealed to us the nature of God. He is in the form of a father who created the heavens and the earth. He is in the form of a son who was sent from the father to come and save the mankind. He is in the form of the Holy Spirit. The spirit the Lord uh, promised to us as believers. And yes, the spirit of God came and he is God. And in the Old Testament where we had only one version of God who is God the father, we see him declaring through prophet Isaiah 
that you people of Israel you are my witnesses here on earth bwana asifiwe in the new testament we see jesus himself telling the disciples the christians the believers that yes i have chosen you i have called you i have made you my own i have given you all that i had from the father i have made you to understand the nature of god that you may become my witnesses today as a church of god we are christ's witnesses and i don't know whether you count yourself as part of the church and i believe coming here today morning for the service you are making yourself part of the church and you are confirming that you are the church of god and therefore christ is speaking to you being a woman in the women's guild christ is speaking to you the young person in the youth fellowship christ is speaking to you the man in the pcmf christ is speaking to all of us that are in this sanctuary today that we are hit his witnesses let us not forget bwana asifiwe rest you forget that you are witnesses of god you are god's witnesses the book of isaiah it is portraying the distinct god god who is different from what from all other things that people consider to be deity to be god the small g the idols that people worship the world people worship and god is calling upon the nations to present their gods that they may be able to see that for sure he is different bwana yesu asifi he is trying to urge the people of israel anawaambia wana wa israeli tazameni miungu hiyo mingine haiwezi kutabiri yanayojili ama yatakayokuwa lakini mimi ni Mungu anaye reveal mambo yatakayokuwa katika siku za uzoni and i make them happen the way i have revealed i am unique i am different i'm not like any other and that is why he is telling the people of israel go to these people in the world and then kwa hao watu wengine wote and become my witnesses i have chosen you that you may know me i have chosen you that you may believe in me i have chosen you that you may understand that i alone i am god and tell others that i alone i am god bwana asifiwe a distinct god who is different from all other gods the idols and he is also considering that all other we are we are seeing that even the people of israel are distinct people they are different in nature from other people because they have been transformed bwana asifiwe they believe in the true god and that is why they bear the title witnesses bwana asifiwe na biblia inatukumbusha ya kwamba hatukuitwa na ili tugoje kuingia mbinguni tell your neighbor usigoje tu kuingia mbinguni kuna kazi hapa mwambie kuna kazi there is a lot there is some work for you the church is not the waiting room to heaven ya kwamba uliumbwa na uliokolewa na bwana akakuchagua ukaweze kuwa mwana wake lakini kuna yazianda sio tu kuwa mlithi wa ufalme wa mbinguni you have a role you have a responsibility that you may declare to the world that there is only one god who is different from all other idols that people may come to believe him bwana yesu asifiwe 
And when I was thinking about this word, I was asking myself, how many people have we witnessed to? How many people have you told about God? How many people when they look at you? Because we witness through speaking and telling about God and also at the same time in our way of life, we witness people when they look at us, they see God in us. Because there is nowhere they shall face it. There is nowhere they shall go and meet God, the physical God. Hakuna bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ama wewe ushakutana na Mungu barabarani. Ama hapa kanisani ukamkuta akiwa amekalia pale ama ako pale kwenye screen na ukasema this is God and you bow before him. God is a spirit and the world will believe in him and know about him through through us. When they see us, they see God. And I like it because the Bible says that you are chosen that you may know God. We may know him. I don't know whether you know God. You cannot qualify to become a witness if you do not know God that you are witnessing for. There is no way that you can testify about someone that you do not know. You must seek to know God. Knowledge about God. God that you believe. Because the Bible says, you are chosen that you may know God and believe in him. You cannot be a witness if you are not a believer. And I don't know how many of us here have not given their lives to Jesus and they are still coming to church and considering that they will be getting to heaven. There is no way to get to God. And even to reflect the image of God. And even to show what the Lord has done for you. If at all, you do not have faith in him. Can you kindly ask, me, ask, 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 ask your neighbor for me. Do you have faith in him? Do you have faith in this God? You are chosen that you may believe in him. And again the Bible says that we are chosen that we may experience him. Experience means, or rather the Bible uh, in that area it says that you may understand that I alone am God. When I was considering that, niliangalia maisha ya wana wa Israeli na nikaona jinsi vile walikuwa na maisha ilio kuwa na majaribu mengi. Especially in the transit from the slavery to the promised land. Wakati walikuwa wanaelekea pale. Lakini mungu alijihithilisha kwa wao kat, kwa hali ambayo wangetabua kwa kweli huyu die mungu na hakuna mwingine. Waliweza kukubana na mambo na wakaona mengine ya kifanyika. Mambo mengine ambayo mwanadamu hawezi fanya. Wao wenyewe hawawezi fanya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They experienced God that they were able to understand and to know that God alone is God. And what he can do, no man can do. I don't know whether you have such an experience that there is none like God. That he alone is God. And what he can do, no man can do. But you cannot experience that if you have not walked with him. If you have not seen him practically doing something that you yourself, you could not have done. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. This is the God that is calling us to be witnesses. You experience him. Uweze kupatana na yeye katika hali ya maisha. And there was a time I was in this parish in the year 2019, that I encountered God and experienced him in a very, very special way than ever before. I was saved in 1998. I'm now 23 years in salvation when I was in Form 2. Lakini katika safari yangu ya wokovu, na nimeona mengi na nimepata mengi, 
I have never seen God like the way I saw him in the year 2019. Some of you can remember, especially Elder Getonga, Elder Gujiri, and some other elders can be able to understand that I was going through a very difficult moment in my life. Nilikuwa napitia hali ngumu ya maisha. Elder Wawero can understand because yeye yeah, ndiye alinianzisha safari ya kupata nafuu katika maisha. Na nikatembea safari gumu. I was sick. And I could study here to preach to you while I was very sick. And even my body changed. Ugenitazama especially from allowed August 19 you could realize that this man must be going through something. I came huge. I believe you remember. But I was, I became thin. Ambi nilikuwa nayo kakarudi dani. Ni mapito. Mwambie jirani yako ni mapito. Na usijiringe jinsi vile ulivyo unaweza pitia hata wewe. And I remember one night I am someone who dreams a lot. Ninaota sana Na doto zingine hazikuangi za kawaida. Kwa maana ninajua wakati mungu ananena na mimi, hasa in the morning at five, when I'm just about to wake up, and I saw a vision or a dream, I found myself in market waters, very, very dirty waters, that were black in color, and with a lot of dirty things. Na hiyo manji nilijiona niki, nikibembwa na maji ya takataka nyingi kama ya sewage. Na ilikuwa inatirilika like in a fall. Ikienda kwa shimo, mahari ambapo, parikuwa na shimo kumba, ambayo hata hawezi, hawezi jua hiyo maji inaelekea wapi. Na nikawa, nikajiona katika sehemu inakaa, kama, eh, like, nika, nikama a cave, taguruga. And it was dark and dirty. And I was going down. Na nikatazama nikaona mahali ninaelekea. Hii maji ikinipereka hapo nitaisha. I will be no more. Lakini gafra, I felt a force ambayo ilinishukua na ikaniondoa kwenye ile maji na kwenye ile hali. Na nikaperekwa mahali pengine. Na mahali pala niliperekwa nikaona uso. I saw a head of a person. Nikaona uso walie kuwa mweupe na nywere yake ilikuwa nyeupe sana. Lakini haikuwa lefu vile. He had white hairs and some beards and he was white in color. And he spoke to me and told me, I have done this because I love you. Bwana Yesu asifi. I have done this. Na niliona tu kishwa, sikuona mwiri mwingine. Lakini ikaninenea kwa lugha ya kingereza, and he told me that I have done this because I love you. Kuanzia hapo maisha yangu ikaendelea kubadilika, nikaendelea kurudisha kamwiri, mkiti, nitazama leo kwa wale waliniona wakati ule, I'm a bit different. I'm not dying. I'm living. I was on my way to death. But I'm now alive. I saw God with my eyes. Ninasema hivyo kwa maana, I witnessed, I encountered, I experienced God. I have come to understand that He alone is God. And I am standing here to testify to you that there is God who, is, who can do more than money, who cannot be compared by anything. He is the Lord God Almighty. Bana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why the scripture is telling us that we have been chosen that we may know God. I have come to know God. I have seen his face. I have come to believe in him. And again, I have an experience with him. Thus I understand that he alone is God. Bana Yesu asifiwe. The book of Acts tells us that it is Jesus who is speaking to the church. And they are worried and asking, is when, when Christ will you, or is this the time 
that you will free people and restore the kingdom of God. You, you will free uh, Israel and that you may build or rather restore or establish an independent kingdom from the kingdom of the world. And Christ said, because you know, Israelites or Jews, Jews were expecting Messiah who shall come, dethrone the ruling government and establish another new government and set people free that they may be able to live a good life here on earth. But Christ said that the time is not known because it is only God who has the authority and they should not be bothered to know the time but all they are less is that they will receive power when the Holy Spirit shall come upon them and they will become the witnesses. The witnesses of God telling the people about Jesus everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Jesus is speaking. And this again confirms that Jesus and God are one. God was speaking in Isaiah. Here it is Jesus who is speaking and he is telling the Christians, the believers, that you shall receive power. This tells me that you cannot testify without, you cannot become a witness without the power of the Holy Spirit. You cannot witness without the power of the Holy Spirit. And he tells them, when you shall get that spirit, you shall witness about me. And listen to this. When you receive the power of the Holy Ghost, and as a believer you should have, you should be infilled by the power of the Holy Ghost. What should you do when you are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost? And I thank Elder Gitonga, someday he preached to us about the Holy Spirit. This is in the Pentecost Sunday. And we could find that when the disciples received the Holy Spirit, they, were, they gained confidence and courage. And they were able to do that which they could not have done by themselves or without the Holy Spirit. That which they could not have done when even Jesus Christ was with them. They were given confidence, they were given power, and they could even uh, cast out demons, heal people, raise the dead, and do so many other things. With the infilling of the Holy Spirit church, with the infilling of the Holy Spirit woman's guild, with the infilling of the Holy Spirit every member, you have authority and power to become a witness. But without the Holy Spirit, you can do nothing. And I wonder sometimes, when I find the church is so calm, no miracles happen, happening, I wonder, kwa ni mungu walirudi na hatu kujua? Kwa na isu asifiwe? Kwa ni mungu walirudi na hatu kujua? Sasa loho mtakatifu wakamaliza kazi yake, kama vile tunaimbanga, loho modheri wale kia vila, naneago kajire. Akono nea yeliri ya doa ketu getigo. No nea tiriri, we have been given the grace of God. Tumepewa neema, and today we should be testifying and what kind of a testimony should we be giving out of our own experiences and also performing miracles and doing things that other people would say for sure, this is God. This is not man, this is God. And the Bible is telling us that we shall be given power to witness in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the world. When I consider these cities, I consider Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a Hebrew word that was constituted by two names, the house of God. Jerusalem. Salem is God. Jeru is the house. Jerusalem, the house of God. Bethlehem is the bread that is served in the house of God. Jerusalem, the house of God. Do we witness in the house of God? And that is why, church, there was a time that people could be given testimonies. 
katika kanisa na diposa hata tuko na ushirika kule kwa district because we may not have all the day here in church that we may give people chances for testimonies when we are gathered in our district fellowships these are houses of god where we can witness about what the lord has done we can tell about god and we can let people know the god that we worship bwana yesu asifiwe judea these are like neighborings and there was a time i was considering judea like our own families like our own homes like our own places of or like our own uh, where we come from our own families brothers and sisters and all that samaria these are like the place where we work mahari ambapo tunafanya kazi do people know god do people see god in you mahali unafanya kazi haijarishi kama kuna ma, kuna wakati wa kuomba like kama unafanya be, eh, eh, kazi shule kama mwalimu ama wewe you are a banker or you are wherever you may be employed haijalishi kama wanakuwa na wakati wa, wa devotion lakini the lord is telling you you are my witness in that samaria bwana yesu asifiwe mahari ambapo unafanya kazi you are my witnesses even to the end of the world and there was a time that we visited myself elder waweru elder gadara and elder wakafa and elder neri when we were, we were in the office last year tukaweza kumtembelea um, the former minister for this parish levered gidenji na tukiwa pale akatupatia testimony you know he is so talkative and he is full of wisdom and uh, good stories and testimonies and he gave us a very interesting one katupatia kuna kuna wakati walienda busia eh, wakiwa busia walienda East African Revival na wakati walikuwa pale uh, eh, unajua East African Revival for those who may know them ni wazuri sana na ushuhuda na wanatoa ushuhuda yote hata ile wewe hauwezi toa na mmoja wao akasimama na akasema ushuhuda wake akasema ya kwamba ninataka kutoa ushuhuda huu na mke wangu wako hapa lakini nataka kutoa na ili wanaume tujifunze. Bwana asifiwe. Akasema kuna wakati kwa kuwa mimi ni dugu na, dada, na mke wangu ni dada nili, wakati mmoja niliangalia nikaona kama familia yangu mke wangu na watoto kama hawanioni kama bwana wa boma. Hawaoni kama mimi ni mwanaume. Na nikafikiria siku moja watatambua mimi ni mwanaume. Nikabeba koti yangu nikitoka kazi jioni na mke wangu wako na usoevu wa kushukua koti na anaenda anaiweka bedroom mahali pazuri kwa hanga. Lakini hiyo siku sikuweza kukubali afanye hivyo. Wakati aliniishisha koti nikamwambia hii hauguzi. Na nikawa nimeonyesha uso wa hasira. Unauma una, unajua mtu ambaye ako na hasira hauwezi hauwezi kosa kutabua akamwambia we ngoja nitajibebea akaenda kwa bedroom akatulia huko wakati sapa iliandaliwa kwa meza akaitwa na mke wake akasema hapa ndipo sasa mtanitabua mimi ni mwanaume wa boma walipoketi akawaambia mama mke wake akasema hebu tuombe chakula akasimama akasema huku hakuna chakula kinaombewa kwa kuwa hata chakula hiki leo hamtakula leo mtajua mimi ndiye mwenye boma na vile ninasema hivyo ndivyo mtafanya akawaambia yule anaomba aombe maombi ya kulala tukimaliza kuomba hata hataki kuomba tukimaliza kuomba watu wote waende wakalale mimi ndiye mzee boma hii na unajua ni masaya saa moja, saa moja na nusu Hivyo basi wakashangaa na wakamuogopa kwa hata sauti yake ilibadilika. Wakashidwa kwani huyu ni dugu yule tunajuanga. Wakati waliweza kumaliza maombi akamwambia mke wake I'm serious take this food back to the kitchen na watu wote waende wakarare. Na yeye akaenda akalala. Na ni saa mbili. Akikaa mlango ikagonga gongwa na dugu mwenza dugu mbeba muzigo kama dugu getonga no mimi na getonga tunakuwa watu wa muzigo haya wakati mlango ilikogogogwa na dugu mwenzake 
akaweza kumuita nje akamwambia ndugu ninakuhitaji kwangu kumeshomeka kumeshomeka kwa nini wakaanza kuongea kule wanagobana na mke wake dada mwenzake kule mke wake wakaongea wakaenda hapo nje wakashukua kiti kulikuwa na, na baramwezi wakaweza kukaa pale kwa mwangaza walipomaliza huyu dugu akasema kwa kuwa mimi niko na hasira na sitaki mambo mengi hebu ni, ni, ni tuongee na huyu dugu wakaongea wakaongea wakamtia nguvu na wakamwambia wewe nenda mtu anajifanya mpole wewe si ni dugu nenda ujifanye mpole msikizane na mke wako sihitaji kuja wakaongea kama muda wa saa moja kisha mzee akarudi nyum, kwa nyumba akalala yule mzee akaenda kwao asubuhi yake sasa watu wote walikuwa wanakaa hivyo waone mzee kama amebadilika e, sasa wakaona amebadilika akawaita wote akawaambia e, sasa nataka tuombe chai wakakunywa chai wale walikuwa wanataka kukula akaona wao hawataki kukula lakini yeye anakula wakati anaakalishwa na mke wake akule sasa akaona mimi niko na ujinga kule kulikuwa na ile fujo na shida halisi kwa dugu yangu lakini hapa ni mimi nimeleta shida akamwambia mke wake dada nisamehe nilikosea e, na pole kwa kuwa tulilala jaa mke wake naye akamwambia nawe bwana nisamehe kwa kuwa wewe ndiye ulilala jaa peke yako kwa maana wakati dugu alikuja mimi niliona Mungu ametumana wakati mlikuwa kule nje mkiongea nilienda kishen nikateka chakula nikawapatia watoto na mimi nikakulia hapo kishen nikitazama kama unaingia sasa sisi tulilala vizuri wewe ulilala jaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sasa hapo nilipoangalia nilikuwa nikifikiria nikaona huyo mwanaume alikuwa anatoa ushuhuda kwa kuwa he was not a good witness in the family in the house Let me ask you Are you a good witness? Bwana asifiwe hata huko kwa familia yako. Ukiwa mama, are you a good witness? Ukiwa bwana, are you a good witness? Wakati tunajijaza na tunataka watu watutambue, tunaondoka katika uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu and we do not become loyal to the spirit of God. May God help us that we may be witnesses even in our families. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hiyo sio kusema ya kwamba wanaume wakaliwe. Sio kusema ya kwamba wanawake wakaliwe. But let us all try to become witnesses for one another. Bwana asifiwe sana. There are some few qualities that I'm going to mention about witnesses and mark these things because if you do not have them then you do not qualify to be a witness of Christ Jesus. Number one, witnesses are chosen they are chosen this is what the bible shows in the book of isaiah 43:10 that i have chosen you you must be chosen and the lord chooses those that he wants by the way you are not a woman's guild member just like that by your own effort or deed sio kwa vile unafanya kazi ama unatoa ni Mungu amekuchagua you are not a believer you are not saved today na kwa wale ambao eh, hawajaokoka wanastahili wajiulize kwa nini mimi sijachaguliwa and the voice of God is calling upon them today that they may be chosen that is why they may be seated here today na ili ya kwamba Bwana awanogonezee we must be chosen that we may know God And to know God we must seek him and seek his face. Tumtabue Mungu tumjue na tutamjua kwa aina gani? Kwa kutafuta uso wake, kusoma Biblia, kuenda ushirika, ku meditate upon him and even to encounter him through some experiences in our lives. By the way, believers must encounter God. You must have an experience with God and this is the benefit of becoming a witness this is the benefit of becoming a believer you will see god delivering you like the way i have testified here you will see god doing things in your life things ca- that cannot be done by human person bwana yesu asifiwe number two, witnesses must have 
power of the Holy Spirit. There must be the power of the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit of God, there is no capacity to witness. By the way, the Holy Spirit is the one who interprets the truth of the scripture or the word of God to us. Ni watu wengi sana wanasoma Biblia. Lakini sio wote wanaelewa neno la Bwana. And that is why without the spirit of God reading this scripture becomes so boring. Actually you may become interested in reading the novels and the story books other than the Bible. But with the power of the Holy Spirit you will enjoy, you will understand the word of God. Bwana asifiwe. So for you to become a witness you, you, you must be interested. You must seek the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Number three is that witnesses are loyal to Christ. They become so loyal no matter what. I was leading through when I was researching about witnesses and I came to learn that the word witnesses comes from the, from the Greek word matules, matules. Matules, M-A-R-T-U-R-E-S. And this is the word from which we get the English word Matthias. Matthias. And all of us can understand who Matthias are. These are the people who are killed, who gave their life because of Christ. They said, we better die like the three young Hebrew men. Ambao walisema, Hata kama mungu wetu hata tuokoa Hatutaweza kuabudu miungu mingine We must be loyal to God to such an extent Bwana asifiwe sana That no matter what No matter what the season may be I shall tell about God It doesn't matter whether they listen to me Like the way the prophets in the Old Testament like Jonah They were going through the markets like mad men Shouting to people, telling them, repent, for you will perish. I don't know how many of us can dare today to go through the streets of hunters and santon and kwamafuta and kule kuingine telling people, repent, fungeni hizi wines and spirits. This is what the Lord is calling me for. This is what the Lord is calling you for. That we may tell people without minding what they will take us or what will happen to us. Matthias died like the, the Matthias in Uganda. They died because there was persecution for Christians and they said we will never deny this Christ. We will be bold enough. We will be loyal to him to the end. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the end times. Shall we be counted among the lawyers? Shall we be loyal to the end no matter what? For you to become a witness, you must be loyal to Jesus Christ. Let us stand that we may pray in Jesus' name. Huwa ninapeana muda kama huu that you may have time for meditation and time to speak to God. The Lord has called you as an individual, not as a church. Mungu hajaita watu wote kijumla, lakini ameita kila moja. And that is why he says, he know us by name. Kwa maana alikuita kwa jina, like the way he called David at night. Bwana asifiwe, Samuel. Like the way he called Samuel at night. He knows you by name. Have you been faithful in your witnessing? Have you been faithful in your witnessing? Just speak to God and tell him, I have heard your word today. I may not have been that faithful in witnessing about you, Christ Jesus. But Father, I pray that you may fill me with the Holy Spirit now. That I may go out there and let people know that you alone is God. Mighty Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. That even when I pray for people, they will see God. Some people may have visited the doctors. 
wengine labda wamewatembelea madaktari wengine wamefanya mambo mengi lakini uwaombee na wanaweza kupona kwa imani If you have been cho- if you have not been chosen unaona kama Mungu haja kuchagua mwambie Bwana niko hapa Bwana nitumie niko hapa Bwana nitumie nichague kati ya wengi that I may know you that I may believe in you and that I may experience you and if you may be having an issue in your life you need an encounter with Jesus you need an experience with God cry out to God the spirit of God is here and he will minister to you mwambie bwana ninataka kukuona katika maisha ninataka kuku experience that i may not be telling about only the stories in the bible but i will also testify of what you have done in my individual life tell god do it for me do it for me i need a testimony from you jesus i need a testimony from you in the mighty name of jesus christ we worship you father and we honor you Thank you for the ministry of your word to all of us this morning. We give you glory, we give you honor. We give you adoration. Holy Spirit of God, may you fill our hearts. May you fill our minds. May you fill in us, O oh God, that we may gain power to witness of Jesus Christ, to, to tell about him, to let people know him and to perform miracles in their lives that which cannot happen by the capacity and power of man father we pray that by you it will happen you have told us through paul that we can do all things through you who gives us strength we are seeking for that power we are seeking for that strength we are seeking for the infilling of the power of the holy ghost that we may truly become your witnesses we may be witnesses in our fellowships The ladies may be witnesses in the women's guild. The men to become witnesses in the fellowship and the young people to witness to the young. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch us once again, oh God. Touch us, oh God. We thank you that you have chosen us. We thank you for the choice that you have made for us, oh God. How we adore you. How we magnify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is happening. It is happening in the name of Jesus. And for those that are going through experiences, the spirit of God is working. The spirit of God is working in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you our Father for you are doing a great things in our a great thing in our life. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Father. Thank you for calling us that we may be your co-workers with you. For this is our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Thanks, our reverend. May God bless you for the powerful word. I, who have been uh, leading you, I'm Paul Indegua, and Christ is Lord of my soul. We have two announcements. On Sunday, we will have LCC. Coming Sunday. Today. Today. We, oh, we will have LCC today. Sorry. <laughs> at 2 p.m. Today, today. The other one. Any member of Dururuma in the service. In this service. To meet Elder Getonga. Outside. And he is talking about those who live from 7th Street, Santon Road, to the river, all the way to behind 
John Joroge Secondary School. Those who live within that vicinity. From 7th Street, Santon Road, to the river, all the way to behind John Joroge Secondary School. Today we are having LCC. We'll have the benediction. Then to take the Bible back to Vestry, our patron will lead us in guild song. Be blessed. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Tusimame tafadhali. Let us pray. We thank you, our Father and our God, for being together with us throughout the service. For sure, we are grateful for the power of the Holy Spirit that has ministered to us and into our lives. And we are grateful for reminding us that you have called us, that we may witness. As we go out there, Father, we pray that you may give us that power to witness that you may give us that boldness to tell about Jesus Christ, that you may give us power to do things through the name of Jesus. We thank you that we have mentioned in this service that the wife of the minister is sick and we pray for your healing. And we thank you because from the time that she was hospitalized, you have done it. You have done it, O oh Lord, and we exalt you and we honor you. You have told us that in all things, you are the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for each and every one of us. Thank you, mighty Father, for this church. Thank you for the woman's guild and the word that you have given us through them. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Brethren in Christ, the Lord God has called you all that you may become witnesses in him. May you receive power now to go out there to witness what the Lord has done to your life. May you receive power to go out there to tell about God who is the only God. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May he lay his countenance upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and give you peace. The peace of God that surpasses human understanding be upon you. The peace that guards our minds and our hearts may let be upon you, that you may worry no more, but rejoice in the Lord. And once again I say rejoice. And the blessings of God Almighty Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Salama, we wendi we 